Who do we see as the number one best tight end in this class? The number one best tight end in this class who's got some of the least production, and that's where just production don't mean Jack right. Diddley squat, yep. is Jeremy Ruckert from Ohio State. I have no doubt that this is the best tight end in this draft. Because? Because he's the only one that is good in all areas and everything to where put him down with the hand of the line of scrimmage, you're going to be just fine. You know, put him at fullback and you need him to smash the middle linebacker and really hit him. He's going to do that. He's one of the most physical at the point of attack that way, in my opinion. Has the body and legs and the power to, you know, back it up, which I really like. And then even though there's not the catches or anything like that, Really one of the more impressive, I thought, route runners. Split him out. Yeah, he didn't get the ball, but, Dan, that was a good route. It was a great release. Has real speed to, like, threaten people up the seam or down the middle of a cover two safeties, things like that. Uh, to me, this is a guy that the talent shows itself on the film. You just got to look for it. You can't mm. look for it. You're not going to see it in catches mm. and everything. You yes. got to watch a real game and go, let me watch all these plays. He goes out in the routes, and they throw the ball to Olave, not him, and see how he's getting open as yeah. he's doing those type of things. Or Jackson Smith in, in, in Jigba, I believe it is. I mean, no, they, they're, they're, they've got a lot of guys catching the ball, but yes. there's, there's always the other side, and I know the other side gets played in these draft rooms as well. So if someone says, okay, if, he, if he's that good, they've thrown the hell out of the ball to Ohio State. Yeah, I know right. they've got good receivers, but yeah. if they throw it 40 times a game – it's not like you're evaluating someone who looks good at, who plays tight end at Wisconsin where, okay, they're blocking all the time. Ohio State's throwing it first. They are. So, like, someone who wanted to say, why didn't he get more balls? I want to see this as a negative. How do you talk about I, it? I think the biggest thing is just an offense that doesn't really understand the tight end or I don't want to say understand it, just doesn't really need it. Doesn't have to go to that pick playbook. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, wait, we got a first-round receiver, got a first-round receiver, got a first-round running back. Yeah. Hey, said Hutt. Oh, wait, we'll just throw to you. Yeah. Oh, wait, next play. Hey, hey, first round receiver, we're going to throw a screen to you. Now you go. Set hut. I mean, so, <laughs> you know, they, they just, they have so many damn good football players. Yeah. It is a spread offense again, mm -hmm. which, again, is not made for the tight end that way. But, you know, I'll go back to something we talk about a lot with quarterbacks and stuff. Like, if you don't think we put Jeremy Ruckert on the Colorado State team that Trey McBride that we just talked you think about. You would have had 91 and catches instead of 90? I, 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 right. I just, I, if you don't think those results would have been every yeah. bit as good, that's to me where I just go, no, no doubt. This yeah. guy can do all that stuff. He's every bit as fast as Trey McBride. Looks like he's actually faster to me on film. Mm. You know, has more size. You know, as a route runner, a pure route runner, this guy's guys, this guy's impressive. Mm. Like he's got real feet. You know, so you know the the route running was right up there with. I'd go. It's it's better than Dulcich. The yeah. route running. It's right there with Isaiah Likely as far as best route runner. You know, I really looked at him and went. Wait, I feel like I'm watching Freermuth from Penn State last year. And I wanted to get you there. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think it's fair to compare him to Kyle Pitts last year's number no, one. No, nobody it, can be this that. This is not a top right. 10, top five pick. But right. you compare him to Freermuth last year, right. who went in the second round. Yeah. What do you see? Yeah, I, I think that's the kind of guy I look at where I think he's actually a little bit better than Freermuth as a blocker and maybe, maybe a hair less as a pass receiver. I don't even know if he's a hair less mm -hmm. or if it's just the fact that I didn't get to see it as much as I'd like. And Freermuth, he got to see it to where you can feel comfortable. But I feel in my gut from watching and watching all his skills and everything he could do that he could be exactly what Friar Muth or Freer Muth, I keep, keep yeah, budgeting that, yeah. uh, what he could do with Pittsburgh. And I bet you watch his role will continue to improve with Pittsburgh too. But to like what you said earlier, like you split this kid out yeah. and it's third and five and they get the right and you want to throw a slant route, he's going to win and you're going to get the slant. Right, we oh, see he, that a lot. He's definitely going to be able to do all of that stuff. You know, fake the slant, break back out, run the fade route down the sideline. He's he's got it. So to me, this was the guy that I went, ooh, there's some elite movements and and speed and route running from the guy. And then 
he's the only guy where I went, well, I, I really trust him in every area on the team mm -hmm. and everything. He can be the first tight end, the second tight end guy, you know, hand of the line of scrimmage in the slot. He can do everything to where you're not going to have to worry about, oh, wait, no, we, hey, we, hey, guys, hey, get that tight end out of the game. We can't run that play with him. He can't do that. Yeah. You won't have to worry about that with Jeremy Ruckert. There is no limitation. I'm going to give you two options here yeah. with which way you want to go, kind of understanding your number one tight end from Ohio State, Jeremy Ruckert, a little better. Yeah. Do you have an NFL veteran comp that you think he's like and why? Mm. Or would you like to picture him in an NFL offense with a coordinator you know well and talk about how he would work well in that system with these guys around him with this guy calling plays? Yeah, well, I, you know, I don't know if there's – I'm trying to think if there's a veteran guy that – you know, I, uh, one of the other names I, I, I wrote down, Dalton Schultz. Right nice. of the Dallas Cowboys catches all kinds of balls. Right, so th th yeah. that to me is what we're talking about. And Dalton Schultz, if memory serves me correct, he was... they didn't throw the ball a ton to him at Stanford either. Right, it was kind of the same thing. You kind of go mid round, mid, mid round, round yeah. fourth, third, late third, somewhere yeah. there. Right, good player. Right, it was a good player. I mean, we we did Notre Dame games and they played Stanford. Good in the NFL. Going, Man, this guy's a damn good player, yeah. Yeah. but didn't get a ton of catches and all that. But that's to me what I see, you know. But you know, Dalton Schultz. Right? It was franchised this year by the Cowboys. You would take him in yeah. the second round if you could right now? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You would take you would take him in the second round. You're going to you're gonna want to take this kid in the second, the second round, round, too. Yeah. yeah. Early? Uh, I would probably say mid. I don't think any of these guys will go. I think, you know, 40, like 45 will be the start, I think, of and Jeremy. Start going. Yeah. Jeremy Ruckardville. Okay. Um, yeah. But he's, you're going to be able to do and run everything within your offense with this guy. And if he gets around a guy that's – Shanahan, McVay, McDaniels ish that really understands like how to use the tight end and the little nuances of that. Yeah. He'll tear it up. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.